Hello and welcome back to Popcorn Chat. I hope you guys are doing well. This week I'm going to be talking about my top five most anticipated films of 2021. So one of the films that I'm really looking forward to is Judas and the Black Messiah. It's set to come out in February this year and it's going to be released on Netflix. There was a lot of hype surrounding the trailer when that first came out because we saw an amazing cast. We had Lakeith Stanfield and Daniel Kaluuya. So I really think this film could be up there with contender the next set of Oscars in 2022. The next film that I was really looking forward to last year was A Quiet Place 2. I really enjoyed the first one. I thought it was really sort of gripping, something a little bit different, and I saw it in the cinema. So it added all to the atmosphere, sort of hardly any dialogue. I thought it was brilliant. And then I saw the trailer for the second film, the sequel, and I thought this could be like even more sort of world building and it looked like there's another sort of villain, possibly Killian Murphy's character. So I was really excited for the film, so I was sad to see it sort of cancelled and it should be coming out this year in April. So the third film that I'm looking forward to coming out this year is Last Night in Soho and it's directed by Edgar Wright and I really like Edgar Wright's stuff so I'm really, really looking forward to this one and it's got a great cast. We have Anya Taylor-Joy and we also have Matt Smith and it's all sort of 60s vibe and I saw a few set photos of them filming it in London so I'm really looking forward to that film. The other film which I'm looking forward to is Wes Anderson's next film which is The French Dispatch which again was supposed to come out in 2020 yet it was pushed forward to this year. I really enjoy Wes Anderson's film. I think they're funny, I think they're quirky, I think the cinematography is beautiful. So I'm really interested to see what he's going to do with this next film. He's also added a few more actors to his sort of usual cast. So we have Timothy Chalamet and Francis McDormand. So I'm really looking forward to finally seeing The French Dispatch, which is set to come out in October this year. Fingers crossed. How do you say Denis Villeneuve's name? Denis so the final film I wanted to talk about is June, which was supposed to come out last year, and it's Denis Villeneuve's adaptation of the classic novel with the same title, and I was really looking forward to this one. I saw the trailer, I even had trailer reaction on my personal YouTube account, and I just think this looks amazing. It looks like a true sort of spectacle, and hopefully we can see this one in the cinema as well. So this is a star-studded cast with Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, Jason Momoa, so many more brilliant, brilliant actors in this film. And I really, really hope that we can see this in a cinema because I don't want to watch this on my laptop. I really want to get the full sort of the sound and the vibrations, just the whole spectacle. I just want to see this in the cinema. Um, so hopefully it's set to come out in October. Whether in the cinema or not, I do not know. If we can't see it this year, I would rather push it to 2022 so we can actually see it in the cinema itself so there you have it there's my top five most anticipated films to be released in 2021 there's so many good films set to come out this year be it on demand or hopefully in the cinema there is some amazing amazing work being produced at the minute and i think a lot of the trailers that we saw last year have got a lot of people buzzed and hyped about film as well. So it's great to see that there's still a passion for cinema. So what are some of the films you're most looking forward to in 2021? Have I mentioned them already? If not, let me know in the comments and I'd love to see what you're looking forward to. Just a reminder that all my socials are down below. So make sure you follow me on those various platforms because I post on there a lot more frequently, whereas I only post on YouTube once a week. So if you want to see more content, more of my opinions, make sure to follow me on my socials. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and I'll see you next week for another popcorn chat.